Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Aonio and welcome back to John Shadash. As you guys can see, there's a new background. That's because I've moved out. I have better internet now, finally. So to celebrate, the first video is not gonna be a normal video. We're going to help out EVW because yesterday he asked, how do I do bloodbath? So before anything, we're going to open these chests and we are going to, ooh, 99. We got 99 poison shards now, holy crap. So what we're going to do is we're going to be helping Eric out and we're going to be playing bloodbath for you. But without further ado, let's not postpone it anymore. We're going to pop into practice of bloodbath and we're going to go through it and I'm going to teach you guys my tips and tricks for bloodbath. So in the beginning here, one, two, one, two, three. That makes it so you always dip down perfectly there. Uh, unlike Eric, I like to hold the entire time there and just click whenever I enter the blue portal. That trick is going to come in handy later in the level as well. Where you go. So what I like to do, I like to hold, click. Hold, click. I find that way more consistent than going whoop and like that i find it this less consistent personally i've just memorized the must i've just memorized it so well that it's not a huge problem anymore anyway moving on this part this part very easy you go late 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 early late 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 not that late though late 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 and early on that one you have a lot of space here though so there's really nothing to worry about in this ball part it shouldn't be it should be one of those areas you can just relax on it's nothing too bad it's pretty chill then we come into hell this is where bloodbath starts you want to go late because these are a little tiny bit extended not by much but a little bit and for the flying section i recommend going from the bottom go straight up and when it comes to this ball part a little bit of a trick is to line yourself up because they are what they're uh, moved from the ground so like if you have the ground right here right here's the spike down here that's where the spike is because of that you want to kind of line yourself up with the middle of the first spike so middle middle i went a little bit late there start positions so you can suck my dick here really just memorize it and practice a lot this part is horrible it's really hard and it's something that you just have to practice a whole shit ton if you want to get good at it you can't always rely on luck but i would not recommend that at all so for this part this way you want to go one two three one two one two this ship and this wave really easy nothing to worry about now this part that ufo eric for some reason said he had trouble with i don't understand this because there is definitely a set rhythm to it okay so look you go one one two one two one one two one one two one two, one, two, one, two three one two three very very easy it's definitely a rhythm to it and then we get to this part this is for many people the hardest part especially for 60 hertz now eric asked if you should hit the bottom there on the yellow portal however he did not uh come up with the suggestion that i'm going to come with i want people to try and straighten yourself out in the yellow portal like this then coast along the bottom of the blue one. Straighten yourself out. Then you go one, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. It allows you to have a consistent rhythm of getting past that part right there. And that, to me, is vital because that is arguably the hardest straight fly in the entire level. Except for the 95 one, but that isn't hard, it's just nerve-wracking. 
And here, I want you to wiggle a little bit. I find it way easier to do it like this. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. It's personal, but I find it way easier to wiggle right there. You can do whatever you want. I would advise you to do the wiggle and just dance a little bit with the ship. It makes it way easier, in my opinion at least. But you do you, Eric. Also, here, one, two, one, two, three, four. That's what you did. However, there is a set rhythm you can do to make that part super ridiculously easy. What you can do is you can do one, two, three, wait, I'm horrible today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you see that? Once more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do you ask? Well, look, you see this cloud right here, that cloud right there that I'm hovering over. Once your UFO hits about here, right in the middle of the big fat blob, you start clicking. Very easy, look, once more. It's super consistent, makes it very easy. I would advise everyone to do it actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Voila, very easy. Makes a somewhat luck-based part if you do it like that. Super consistent. It's nothing too bad. A Sonic's part isn't super hard. It's something you learn very well by playing it a lot. Also, one thing I noticed you did, Eric, was when you go here, you kind of waited to hit there. You kind of waited to hit that blue orb and hit this one late instead. However, what you can do is just hit the blue orb immediately and hit the yellow orb immediately so you don't have to worry about the timings. Look. So if you go here, also be aware of that spike. If you hit all the orbs as early as you can, you will not die there whatsoever. It's super easy. Then we got here, one, two, three, four. Very easy, set rhythm. Okay, so as I said, one, two, three, four, set rhythm, one, two, three, four. No rhythm breaks, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Two. So after you slide, you go one, two, three, one, two. Very, very easy. Now, what you want to do at 79, which is the infamous super hard ship, is that you want to click immediately once you hit the blue portal. You want to go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. It's a very consistent part, surprisingly. Surprisingly enough, you can become very, very consistent at that transition. You just have to practice your timing on clicking as soon, not a little bit late or a little bit early, but as soon as you hit the blue portal. It's very consistent and out of the, I think, eight times when I beat it originally, I got to 79%, I only died there once. So it's a very consistent part, surprisingly. Everyone thinks it's super hard and difficult, but you just have to click. And of course not fail the straight fly, that would be sad. This, all about learning the inputs. Now, about this part right here, you asked about going up or down into the Q portal. I will show you in the editor later to prove my point because this applies for two parts and that is that you can slide along the bottom here. If you look, however angle I enter the Q portal, I will always hit that little tiny black spike there if I go down, meaning it is a consistent transition that always puts you into the same default position. Meaning that you can pretty much just must memorize the inputs. You don't have to regulate yourself to how you're, you're going into the portal for every attempt. Meaning that this part looks super difficult, but it's actually really easy. So what you wanna do is you wanna go 
down, one, two, three, one, two, and there we go. Now, hold, once you hit that pink orb, you wanna hit it late, then you just hold all the way until the yellow orb. Listen to my inputs here. As you might, might have heard, There are very few inputs when you hit the orbs, meaning that it's not very difficult. You just have to learn to click the orbs late. Then we get here. Try to align yourself with the L or actually the corner of this chain here. That's when you want to go. Then you don't jump immediately, but a split second after. Not immediately, then you will hit that. Like so. But a little tiny fraction later. Little tiny bit later. Like so. Straighten yourself. And this ball part is really just memorizing everything. Nothing too bad. So yeah. I'm going to go into the editor real quick and show you what I mean by the consistency. So if you go here and look, right? Uh, take this part right here. If you go into the editor, as you can see, there are blocks here. Oh, oops. There are blocks here. These are corner pieces, as you can clearly see, but a tiny little dot there. So these are solid blocks that you can stand on. Just go down here, slide along, and you will always hit this spike right here, every single time. No failure. The same applies for here. You do not need, you do not need this orb right here. Look, I'll show you. If we go into here, put a start position. Works just fine. You do not need that fourth jump ring. Do not hit it. It's a free part, it's very, very easy. You should not die there at all, okay? Do not hit, don't hit the um, uh, fourth blue orb. It's just going to kill you. Please don't do it. It's really stupid. You're gonna regret it. Click as soon as you hit the blue, blue portal right here. As soon as you do it, you go one, two, three, one, two, all right? Very simple. Here, nice rhythm, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. The second tap right here as the ship has to be very, very, very light. And you have to click right around here. I always do two clicks because one click might not always be enough. And if I wanna correct myself, it's usually too late to do a second click if I know I'm not gonna make it, which means I'll hit the yellow orb fire myself up there and I'll die. Very stupid. Then one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, click the yellow orb and click the blue portal. Here, go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, boom. Easy. Nice and clean rhythm. Here, don't hit the bottom, straighten yourself out. Then you wanna uh, wait, what should I use? You want to glide along here. Glide along this. Just glide along it. Then you go one, one, two, three. Oh, shit. You want to straighten yourself out. Land there. One, one, two, three. Then you want to wiggle a little bit here. Very easy. Hit that late. Then you want to go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually, there. I just started jumping too early, as you might have seen. Probably because I was talking. I don't know. So straighten yourself out, land, one, two, three. I have to stop talking, kinda mess it, messes with me, making me seem bad. There, I failed, I hit the blue orb a bit, little bit late, you have to hit them as soon as you possibly can. And here, hold, click as soon as you enter the blue portal. And for Mishingu right here, I like to go from the bottom. That's my personal preference for it. You do whatever you feel like is the best for you. 
that is very, very, very different from person to person. I find it easier to go from bottom bottom because I find it hard to correct myself when I go, what, like that. I find that difficult myself. I can try it here real quick if I can actually pass the triple spikes. I find it hard to correct myself when I'm that high up. Like that. I find that to be very, very tricky. So I prefer to go from the bottom. It's all about individuality though. That's just from person to person. You have to find what works for you. Oh shit, I hit my microphone. Anyway, I hope this helps a little bit. If not, just DM me. And if you guys are here yourself to learn how to do bloodbath, hope you guys liked it. it was nice. Whew. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please share it with a friend, like the video, do whatever. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'm going to start streaming soon as well, which is going to be very exciting. I'm going to set that up tonight, so I might stream tomorrow, which is going to be awesome. I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I post there quite regularly regarding my channel. If you wanna talk to me, Discord is the way to go. I'm, I'm pretty active in my server. Also, my DMs are open if you feel like sending me a message. Anyway, I've been out. Peace out, guys.